Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I am going to take you through Investment Advisor Level 1 Certification MCQs. Uh, this is called as Series 10A of NISM Certification. Uh, I am sure many of you know that the role of investment advisors is gaining ground in India. Uh, as more wealth gets created, uh, more and more people, people are likely to avail services of investment advisors. So it makes absolute sense for you to pursue this particular certification. Uh, this will help you in practicing as an investment advisor. Uh, please note that uh, the level 1 and level 2 certifications together must be acquired by you to apply for uh, uh, registration as an investment advisor uh, with SEBI. Once you ha have been given the license to act as an investment advisor, then you can provide services to your customer subject to compliance requirements which have been put in place by SEBI. However, I am not going to discuss that in detail in this particular video. This video is focused on chapter 1 of this particular uh, uh, module uh, which is uh, the level 1 and if you see the chapter 1, chapter 1 basically deals with uh, 6 broad areas. First is what is financial planning? What is the concept of financial planning? So you need to understand that concept. Uh, need for financial planning. Why do you require financial planning and why would your client be interested in financial planning is the second area uh, which, the chap uh, which the book deals with. Then you have the scope of financial planning, which means financial planning need to be segregated with other aspects of, uh, uh, you know, uh, financial activities. So what is get what does get covered under financial planning is also part of this particular video. Then you have concept of asset liabilities and net worth. And finally, you have two more aspects, which is financial planning process advisory and execution. So considering these six topics, which is what is the learning objective of this particular chapter, uh, which is chapter one, I have created 20 questions. So let me take you through each of the question one by one. So the first question is dash dash dash, which is fill in the blank refers to process of streamlining the income expense assets and liabilities of household or individual to take care of both current and future need for funds. So what exactly is this? You know, if you evaluate the options here, uh, you will get to see that it is not wealth management. Uh, uh, wealth management is mostly for uh, those uh, people who have uh, significant disposable income, who are kind of uh, rich and need their money to be managed. Expense management is a very narrow area. So it will, will only uh, refer to uh, uh, how do you manage your expenses. Uh, retirement planning is also very focused, but this is uh, taking care of various aspects. So the right answer for this would be financial planning. So it is C as the answer. The next question is quiz two, which of the following is typically an area not covered by financial planning. So basically, uh, you know, financial planning covers many aspects, but one such aspect is not covered in financial planning out of the four options. So, um, financial, does financial planning take care of need for funding future expenses? Yes, because, uh, you know, we just saw in the previous question that income and expense, both are managed through financial planning. Having adequate insurance coverage? Yes, this is key to financial planning. You must have adequate insurance coverage, which will protect you against uncertainties, not only you, even your family members. Savings done by individual to meet financial needs absolutely is part of financial planning. So maximizing return by taking high risk is something which is not covered in the financial planning process because financial planning is not just about risk and return and that to taking maximum risk. It's all about aligning the investment to various goals. So the answer for this is D. We move on to question three. Which of the following should be first step in financial planning process? And we know that financial planning is a stepwise you know, uh, activity. So uh, if you uh, engage with your customers, if you go to your uh, potential you know, clients, what will be the first step that you will do as part of financial planning process? Probably I have answered that question already, but let me tell you that whether gathering client data, including goals could be the first process. Uh, I don't think it's, uh, that's the case. 
analyze and evaluate the financial status that is an important step but not essentially the first step establish and define client par partner relationship yes this is where you start the financial planning process this is where the engagement for financial planning starts uh, we have covered three questions i'm moving on to the question four again it's a fill in the blank dash 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 involves estimating the losses to the household from unexpected events and choosing the right products and amounts to cover such losses so we just kind of spoke about it in the previous question where uh, you know this was emphasized but this typically deals or relates to insurance planning so insurance planning is which is an integral part of financial planning you know uh, relates to this particular area because uh, you have to work on unexpected events and you have to plan for that and insurance planning will help you achieve that four questions are done so let us move to the fifth one i, I hope you are uh, getting the sense of all the questions the fifth question is which of the following helps in cash for flow management so uh, is it net worth statement is it budget or is it both now net worth statement is more a statement of asset and liability it's like where do you stand today okay uh, so that won't help you in cash flow management you need to build or you need to prepare a budget which has to uh, you know account for all your income expenses and other relevant details to give you an idea about where do you stand in terms of your cash flow management so the answer here is budget so uh, move on, let us move on to question 6 okay and this is where we need to uh, look at a situation which is a family is planning to buy a house and travel abroad for 10 days and simultaneously travel abroad for 10 days for a holiday uh, you know and this family now suddenly because it is buying a house and there is a huge expense which is going to happen the family decides to review holiday plan and delay decision to travel abroad okay now this has been consciously decided by the family because they were anyway going to make a huge expense on house which of the following best describes the decision taken by the family so what has the family done has it focused only on important goals well that's not the answer a goal setting with prioritization of the goal uh, no they have not prioritized the goals here they have just staggered the timing of certain goals so you know they have said that rather than doing this simultaneously we'll kind of do it at a later stage so this is answer this answer is a question number seven which is more about true and false but it will give you a very important message at the same time uh, where you have this difference between financial planning and financial advisory so the statement is that financial planning effort is a comprehensive process as it covers all aspects of a client's personal financial requirements including retirement insurance investment state and others while a typical financial advisory services or financial advisory service is more like likely to look at just a small part of the total financial requirement so is financial advisory about that yes it is about that and financial planning also is uh, aptly mentioned here so this statement becomes true so this is true right now we have done seven questions we move on to question eight which of the following is not covered under, under personal financial analysis so here it's not about financial planning it is about personal financial analysis okay so when we do personal financial analysis we are aligned more to the goals right so when we are aligned to the goals we cover staggering the timing of certain goals focus on important goals goal setting with prioritizations of the goal but cash flow management and budgeting uh, is not part of the financial analysis is part of the financial planning so the answer would be d in this particular case so now we have covered eight questions now we move on to the ninth one which of the following is not true in context of role of an investment advisor so if you are an investment advisor uh, what will not hold good is the question asking so an investment advisor focuses on selections of stocks and bonds is it true well let us look at other options also an investment advisor takes a top down approach of asset allocation an investment advisor helps with a plan to save for various goals which apparently looks uh, correct and suggests an appropriate asset allocation to pursue an investment advisor helps in investment planning and asset allocation so b c and d appear to be uh, absolutely true but a is uh, difficult to you know 
um, align to the uh, role of investment advisor because selection of stocks and bonds is something which is not part of investment advisory of course asset allocation uh, requires you to invest in stocks or bonds or you know other assets but it's not just about selection of it it's more about more to do with the asset allocation so the answer is a here we'll move to question number 10 uh, and this is about a financial planning stage so financial planning is a, a long process we have the question related to that process at this stage of financial planning process investment advisor gives suggestions related to augmenting income controlling expenses reallocating assets managing liabilities and following a saving and investment plan for future which of the following stage is this in the financial planning process okay so uh, this is this is a very critical step okay it's not related to gathering of the client data it's not about analyzing and evaluating financial status also uh, it's not about implementing the plan also it's basically to do with develop and present financial planning recommendations so the answer for this would be c so we have done 10 questions and we have 10 more to go so we are halfway through let us move to the 11th one which of the following is the role of investment advisor as part of asset allocation activity so investment advisors do asset allocation activity and they help their clients so which of the two statements are correct evaluating asset classes and products for their risk and return features yes that is something which they will do and monitoring the current and the expected performance of asset classes and modifying weights to each assets in the investors portfolio periodically to reflect this right so both of them will be done as part of asset allocation activity by an investment advisor so the answer is both a and b let me highlight this so that when you see the video you can relate to it question number 12 which of the following represents a short one time exercise or even piecemeal effort at different periods of time which of the following would reflect it financial planning is a long process wealth management while it is focused it is also a, a you know longer or a long term process so is the risk management because risk management is not a piecemeal activity so we are left with only one option which is investment advisory so the answer for this is investment advisory which is b question number 13 which of the following is not true about impact of borrowing basically so when you borrow which of the following impact you will not feel it could adversely impact credit score if loan is not serviced on time which is very true because if you if your loan or if your account becomes delinquent then you are in, there would be an impact it could put borrowers under debt trap absolutely if you are not able to service your loan you will be under debt trap it helps in buying depreciating assets which create wealth well loan helps in buying depreciating asset like car okay or a white goods right but they don't create wealth they actually depreciate uh, so this would be the answer and the last statement is very true less the borrowing lower is the financial stress question number 14 which of the following is not a potential drawback of physical assets now physical assets are typically houses gold in which many people make investments so it has many drawbacks so which is not the drawback is what i'm asking here illiquidity is a key concern in physical assets lack of regulations or limited regulations i mean uh, uh, not all the physical assets are adequately regulated like financial assets requires large ticket investment generally which is also true because if you buy a house you have to put a huge amount of money these assets have high volatility which is not true uh, most of the time because you know volatility uh, physical assets don't see huge volatility the prices are broadly stable financial assets have more volatility we move on to question 15 which of the following is not relevant classification of assets in context of financial planning so we have many classification of assets physical is one financial is two but notional is not a classification okay notional is me notional means something which is not real right so there's nothing called as a notional asset that you have right uh, gains can be notional losses can be notional but we are not talking about notional assets here uh, we can have intangible assets but not notional assets question number 16 which of the following can earn uh, fees commissions from selling of financial products can investment advisors do the answer is no so who can do distributor of financial products so 
let let me just tell you that as per sebi's investment advisory uh, regulation uh, investment advisors are not supposed to sell the party third party products or any products uh, they are supposed to give investment advisory right uh, question number 17 which of the following business model is a technology based advisory plat solution that are standardized for execution so essentially what happens in uh, you know is that in uh, uh, you have uh, different kinds of uh, uh, business models which are available uh, uh, on which you can work once you start investment advisory so you have fee based uh, execution based services it's wraps and platforms which is a technology based advisory solution so this answer here is a Uh, we move on to question 18 which of the following works primarily through the identification of key goals and putting in place the action to realign the finances to meet these goals so when it comes to goals okay we are very clear that it relates to only one concept which is financial planning it's not about investment planning it's not about wealth management or portfolio management question number 19 A dash is a list of inflow and outflow that individuals will witness along the time period when this takes place. It is very clear that this is budget. Okay, so budget is a list of inflow and outflow, and this is why this will be the answer. Asset, net worth, or loans answer is ruled out. This takes us to the last question and end of the video. Dash 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 planning refers to all those activities that are focused on transfer of wealth to hires. charity and other identified beneficiary needless to say this is state planning okay now we have covered 20 questions and i have given you answers for all 20 questions i am sure you have liked this video and at least i hope you have liked this video if that's the case uh, i will expect you to uh, you know subscribe to my channel for videos in future and also recommend this channels to others and please do not forget to like this video uh, which will help me to create content similar contents in future thank you so much for your time